Before we get started, I want to talk through the project files provided with this video series. The approach that we took with Project Pegasus was to provide a holistic approach to using Houdini within game development. This means there's a lot of crossover between different video series. The cliff generation workflow that I developed very much builds on the landscape workflow that George has created. The project files include digital assets that George developed as part of his landscape workflow, which I'll be using but not discussing in depth. If you want to know more about these tools, please do check out the landscape section of Project Pegasus, where George will talk more about the landscape workflow. You can find the project files with the Cliff video series on the Project Pegasus webpage at sidefx.com forward slash Pegasus. So once you've downloaded the project files, you're going to want to unzip them. I'm going to unzip them to the root of my C drive. And once they're unzipped, if I just come inside here, I have a Houdini folder in here is my Houdini Pegasus package, which contains the digital assets that load and assemble the landscape. And in the source content folder are files that hold the separate landscape layers, the base source landscape, a layer of manual edits, and a layer of procedural detail. The digital assets load these separate layers and assemble them together so that we can work with them inside Houdini. Inside the project files folder, you'll find a Houdini folder. In here is our package of Houdini digital assets. These digital assets that were developed by George load the separate landscape layers and assemble them into a single high field. Those separate layers can be found in the source content folder. And these layers include the base source landscape, a layer of manual edits, followed by a layer of procedural detail. As I said, if you want to know more about this landscape workflow, do check out George's video series about the landscape workflow. If you haven't got to use these project files, you can develop this workflow with your own landscapes, but I just wanted to provide the source files so you can follow along as closely as possible. In the root of the folder is also a JSON file called Pegasus Demo. This is the project package file. If you aren't familiar with the package files, please do watch the introductory videos where I will explain uh, in more detail how to set up and use these package files. Copy the package file into your Houdini user preference folder, which is usually in your user documents. And if you don't already have a folder called packages, you can create one. And then copy across that JSON file into the packages folder. Right click and edit. In this package file, I'm creating two variables, one called Pegasus Demo and another called Pegasus Demo Project. And I want to set this path for the Pegasus Demo Project variable to be the path to this Pegasus Cliff Project Files folder. So I'm going to copy that across and replace it here. These need to be forward slashes, so let's just Amend those. So now it's C drive forward slash Pegasus Cliff project files and hit save. So this variable is now pointing towards this directory. And also, this Pegasus demo variable is also citing this Pegasus demo project folder. So here we have a path to the root of this project folder, followed by a variable called Pegasus Demo, which points to the Pegasus Demo package folder, which is in the Houdini Packages folder. So next I'm going to launch Houdini. And once it's loaded, add a geometry node, go inside, and if I right click, we can see now that's loaded those Pegasus tools. I'm going to select load landscape and add that. And if I hit F in the viewport, you can see I now have this landscape loaded. And if we take a look at this loads landscape digital asset, we can see it's using that Pegasus demo project variable that was set in the project package, dollar Pegasus demo project. And if I middle mouse click on the directory label, we can see that variable being resolved to the path 
that was set in the project package. So I'll be using these variables in the video series. The dollar Pegasus demo variable when I create and save digital assets and then using dollar Pegasus demo project when writing and loading files generated by the Tops network. So if you follow along with the video series, you'll be able to save and load digital assets within this directory um, and follow along with the same workflow that I used. Again, if you want to know more about setting up a package or the project folder structure in general, please do check out the introductory video series for Project Pegasus.